She's back. Guess who's back? Back again. It's me! <laughs> Come on back at the woods with the bush box again and going to carve a spoon. So let's go. I know it's necessary. Obviously my dad has woodland and we've had to do similar there. But this still makes my heart hurt. Look at it. Complete devastation. So many trees been taken down. A necessary evil but... <laughs> Sad. So how are you all? Are you all right? Hope you're okay. I'm so excited to be back in the woods, honestly. Last weekend had the best afternoon. So yeah, hoping to just, yeah, relive that experience really. And yeah, start carving this spoon for some lucky person out there. It's very exciting. I woke up with butterflies this morning, seven o'clock, ridiculous. So excited about coming out. But yeah, so we're just, coming same woods as last week but coming in a totally different way trying to find a nice little spot to set up so many trees have been taken down it's really sad to see but yeah it is necessary I know that but I do like it but yeah so just having a little meander through the woods collecting dried grass and stuff ready to make another bird's nest practice my flint steel again why not and yeah it's so good to be back. I just love it here so much. I'm beginning to think maybe I was like a wood fairy in a fairy former life or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little pigtails today. Keep my hair out of the way. Can't be doing without blowing around again. So yeah, it's exciting. Come on. How lovely this path is. Still flipping muddy though. Honestly, there's places that are still like quagmires here. It's crazy. Every time we come out, it's a little bit drier. So I guess we're getting there. We're just heading along here because I don't know if you can hear. There's water. There's a stream over to our right and somewhere there is a little way down to it. So we're just having a bit of a wander now. Is this place? The stream just over there, which I'll take you to in a sec. I don't know what these are growing. How pretty they are. Gorgeous. And then over here, I think, is wild garlic. Smells amazing actually. You rub the leaves or just break the leaves. Oh, amazing. And look. Nice little bubbling brook. Just found some willow down here and because I used my some of my charred punkwood last week 
um, to get the bush box going I'm going to collect some more because I can do this then when the bush box is going I can put some more on to um yeah to char <laughs> so I'm just collecting some of this really quite wet but obviously it'll dry off lovely on the fire trying to get decent sized more in my tin. I know I show you this like every time I come to the woods but every time it amazes me how dark it is under these trees. <sighs> Amazing.
wind was not blowing this way just now. Not just a one trick pony. Go me. So on our way in, I think I said we found some um, punkwood, willow punkwood. So I'm going to top up my tin because although I've still got a fair bit in there, can't miss up an opportunity. So I've got some some of what we've just collected here, and I'm just basically going to fill up my tin, and then when my water's boiled for my coffee, I'm going to put this on to char, darling. <laughs> In. I did have a bit of gaffer tape across the top of my hole to keep my wood dry so I've obviously taken that off and that is pretty much rammed full. So it doesn't matter if I'm recharring wood I've already charred, it doesn't matter, it's just going to char it more. So as soon as the water's boiled I'm going to get that on. I love watching this do with the steam or smoke coming out the top. I love it. So yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to sit and enjoy this coffee for a minute and then get carving this spoon. I'm hoping you can see the smoke coming out of the hole in the tin. Very satisfying. And basically, when that smoke stops coming out, my punkwood should be all charred. Got to keep stoking the fire so it keeps burning nice and hot. Oh, it's all very primal, this isn't it? I love it. Love it. Right, so this is the piece of wood. Excuse the noise, someone's kids are being very noisy. This is the piece of wood that we collected last, or I collected last weekend. It looks like it's got some really nice grain in it. So I'm hoping that when I split it, it will be all right. Not sure how long this has been down. So not sure how green it is. I think it's beech, which is notoriously hard to carve. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna split it with my little hatchet um, and take a look at it inside and see if it looks all right. I'm not going to be finishing this spoon today, this is going to be a project over a few days but what I did want to do is I wanted to start making it in the woods where I found the wood, um, bring you along so you can see the kind of a bit of the process so if I can at least get a blank for the spoon today I will be really chuffed with that and then I'll finish it off at home and film some of the process of that as well um, to share with you but yeah so I'm going to try and get this split. Wish me luck everybody! I have been working out on muscles. <laughs>
there we go. So, I've got a nice curve actually. It looks a fairly straight bit of wood, but you can see a kind of curve in the wood. And it does look like it's got some nice grain in it. So hopefully, hopefully it will carve okay. Mm, exciting. So I've made it a start. I think you can see it's starting to look like a spoon. Um, I always forget how much it really hurts my, <laughs> my arm and my hand doing axe work. So I'm really happy I've at least made a start. It's a blank of a spoon. You can kind of see where it's going. Um, it's got some really lovely colour in the wood. So it looks like it's, I think, going to be a really good spoon. So I will carry this on at home with my knife. Um, once my hands recovered a little bit, it gets a bit set. I've got, I think I've got a bit of arthritis in my hands. So yeah, I have to kind of know when I've done enough. So I'm excited though. It's been so long since I've done any carving. So someone will be very lucky to have this. So sitting again, leave no trace, taking all our rubbish. Oh, amazing, amazing afternoon again. Okay, I've got my hat on now. In my excitement to come out, I kind of forgot that actually it is still only March. And I'm cold. So yeah, got my, got my old bobble hat on again. So we're just heading back to the car. The punk we didn't finish charring. We kind of, time had got away to be honest. So we're kind of hot tailing it back to the car to get back to the kids. Left them for a fair while. So yeah, just heading back to the car now through my my church. <laughs> Love it here so much. Right, so yeah, amazing afternoon. Flint steel, bush box, punk wood, carving. Amazing. Amazing afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. Hope you're all okay. And yeah, not long. Not long to camping. Exciting. Oh, I'm trying to, um, yeah, plan my first solo camp. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm going to fall over in a minute. Yeah, my first camp after lockdown. Hopefully on Dartmoor. Exciting. So yeah, so I will see you again very soon. I will add on the end of here, me finishing the spoon, hopefully. So yeah, I'll kind of keep dipping back in, but for today, that's it. Thanks guys, take care. See you soon, stay safe. Bye.